Burial Ground, aka The Knights of Terror, is one of the worst zombie movies ever made. It's also one of the most entertaining. Welcome to the Hellbound Horror Show. Burial Ground has become a bit of a meme within the horror community, and for good reason. This is one of the most unintentionally funny horror films I've ever seen. I wish I had more to say about the film, but honestly, there's nothing here. And I guess that's part of its charm. A bunch of young adults come to a mansion villa of sorts, they get some sexy time in, and then the zombies come. Our characters lock themselves inside the mansion as the zombies attack, and this all happens before the 20 minute mark. And that's the film. They get picked off, zombies eat people, that's it. I wish there was some awesome character development or maybe some interesting dialogue of how to escape, but no. One guy comes up with a bright idea of maybe it would be best to let the zombies inside the house because why not? What can we do about it? Let them come in. Maybe it's something in the house they want, not us. I've got an idea. What? Well, let them inside. We can keep out of their reach. So dumb. The worst is the mother and son. Wow, first of all, that's not a kid. He's like 25 years old. Anyway, they have this weird, incestuous relationship. The kid wants to be with her, and the mother takes a long, long time to say no. Here's a pretty big spoiler, but the movie's plot is so not important at all. The kid dies at some point and becomes a zombie. The mother is so happy to see her dead child. He ends up pulling out her breast and she's all like, yeah, you like sucking on those when you were little. Go ahead and do it now. He then bites off her nipple. <laughs> he bites off her nipple. This movie is ridiculous and a lot of it you just have to see it to believe it. Like, characters realize that you have to destroy the zombie's brain in order to kill them. But towards the end of the movie, you have someone attacking a zombie like this. There's also uh, zombie monks in the movie as well, because, you know, of course there has to be that. And let's face it, the zombies here, they look terrible. The makeup looks heavily inspired by Lucio Fulci's zombie. The whole film feels like it's trying to be Fulci's zombie. And sure, Fulci isn't great at narrative storytelling, but he was never this bad. Burial Ground has zero tension, zero scares, pathetic zombies, okay gore, terrible soundtrack, and it lacks everything that makes a movie a movie. I can't bash this movie enough, but it really is a hoot. I was entertained by its awfulness. This would be fun to watch with a bunch of friends that love gory zombie flicks. There's no narrative that you have to pay attention to. It's just a good time for no real good reason. Severin Films did a wonderful job restoring this movie and the extras are all really nice. Burial Ground really didn't deserve the Severin treatment, but I'm still thankful that I got it. Burial Ground is so bad, it's good. Not everyone will think so, but I had a good time with it. It's unfortunate, but there's just not a lot to say about this movie, so check out this train wreck for yourself. And that's all I have for tonight. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. Stay healthy, stay safe, and take care, everyone.